still kind of like excited. Still pending. Just how did it how, how did that feel after this last game? I mean, the two sacks. Just kind of. I mean, you said it after the game, but just being healthy and ready to, to continue, kind of. Um, it felt good. I still feel like I kind of left some plays on the table. So, but just building off of that, building off the momentum, and just going forward from there. Is this kind of what you maybe expected of yourself, or you know, is still a lot more uh, to go? Yeah, I feel. I still feel like it was a lot more to go. Like even after that, I think I, I missed that first tackle in the backfield before they scored their first touchdown, and that kind of had me aggravated a little bit. Just me and Anthony talk. You just can't get those plays back, but it's more so like we got to make those type of plays. Those plays you don't get back. So I still feel like it's a lot more room to just grow. How much energy does uh, Christian Barmore bring to the pass rush? Uh, he brings a lot of energy. He's a high motor guy. Just as far as you know, what I'm saying you know he's gonna come in and play hard. We just gotta you know, what I'm saying carry him along too, cause he's another younger guy. But as far as talent and motor wise, we love having him on the field. And he brings a. a, a Great energy to us, and he turned he turned the whole defense up, in my opinion. What's he like after uh, off the field? He seems like he you, you guys kind of rally behind him a lot. He's a he's a goofy guy. He a, he's a character. You can't you know what I'm saying. Whenever you see Barmore in the room, you you know you bound to laugh. What, what do you think about his, his sack celebration? <laughs> he was, I think he got that from Bugs. <laughs> the way he celebrated. Can you give us give us an example of like a joke he would tell or something funny? It ain't really a joke. <laughs> it's, it's, it's just, just Barmore. <laughs> like, Barmore is a goofy guy. You, you have to. <laughs> I want to see him in the interview. To be honest, <laughs> it might be a little long. Uh, <laughs> this, it, some of the, you, you mentioned uh, Christian, but you know guys like Justin and, and Byron kind of getting starts and, and yeah. contributing at that right end spot. What what have they meant to, to um, that defense? Um, they've meant a lot. I, Definitely think they're starting to now get a little bit more comfortable, especially playing in an atmosphere like that. I could tell that they kind of starting to not more so focus so much more on assignment, but kind of getting into the field of just playing football, knowing what they have to do, and being comfortable to just play freely so they can try to make plays and stuff like that. What does this Tennessee robbery mean to, to Alabama and you in particular? I mean, you know, I don't think you've played in the last couple hours. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what does this game mean to you? Um, it's definitely a big game. I mean, it's still another game, but it, you know what I'm saying? We know the rivalry and stuff like that that comes behind it, going against Coach Pruitt and seeing him again and, you know what I'm saying, being familiar with those guys. We we know the basically the pedigree to this game, you know what I'm saying, kind of comes to, but at the end of the day, it's still Tennessee. It's another game. We're just trying to be one to know. Are you looking forward to a night game? Oh, yeah, definitely. It's pretty late. It's pretty different, but definitely looking – forward to be under the lights that that atmosphere should be a good good crowd what do you think about those new lights i haven't really seen them so i didn't really hear about them uh, i heard there was led lights though so i'm anxious to see how i look but i'm just happy that we get to play a, a night game environment environmentally conscious as well yeah so. <laughs> <laughs> like there, have you seen some of the uh, David talked about? I guess Instagram had there's <coughs> whatever like that of the strobe. What do you expect to like that? If you said they had what? There's a strobe function on those lights where like alternates. Alternate colors. Well, like red, just a different like flashes. Yeah, right? dark and. Oh, it's gonna do that like during the game. It could. That's what they showed off. Not, right? not one, not when the ball's in play. But. Oh yeah, <laughs> but of course not. But what, what do you think about a scene like that though? Just kind of. You know, I mean, that that sounds cool. I don't really, by game time, I feel like that's all stuff that kind of the fans and all that look into. We kind of, by the time we on the field, I don't really be thinking about the lights. You might look up and be like, oh, wow, it's pretty cool. But other than that. Should they adjust the lights after a sack? Yeah, maybe, if I get enough. <laughs> <laughs> David was saying you all might be able to watch a movie the night before because it's a late game. Do you know what movie that might be yet or no? Oh, no, nah, they really, they don't be telling us, but I know it's probably be something that's probably not out yet. The something that can relate to football. Huh. What are those like? I mean, just the, the team functions like that, but getting maybe a first look at, at something that's not out in theaters yet, what does that mean? It's definitely fun, and then it's kind of like, damn, if it, especially if it's a good movie, like I got to be on Hutch, you can't record anything, can't take pictures, stuff like that, but it's definitely fun knowing that you can see a movie that early and then, a lot of times, guys will be like, mm, I'm going to take somebody to go see that, or I'm going to just, you know what I'm saying, that'll probably be something I'll see again, or, you know what I'm saying, something that you know 
okay, other people haven't seen it yet. You don't want to tell them about it, but you'll go and watch it with them, knowing everything that's about to happen. <laughs> what have been the movies that you that you guys got to see early? It's been a minute, <laughs> so I can't even really remember. We watched the movie during camp, <laughs> but I can't I can't really remember. Are you, are you hoping to get some time on offense? Is that are you trying to send a message by carrying the ball around and? Uh, no, nah, this is my baby. I would play offense if I had to, but... Where is it, catch a ball or get the, get a handoff? Or? Yeah, I was supposed to catch a pick this past Saturday, so I'm trying to get a feel for the game again. Amberty almost got one, what'd you say to him? Man, he, he messed up our highlight play. I got on him a little <laughs> bit, but like I said, we can't get those plays back, but we were both like, damn, like, I hit the quarterback and then he was supposed to catch it, so it was like kind of like, man, we supposed to have a highlight play on that play. If you were on offense, what, what position would you play? Tight end, wide receiver. I mean, might be a little bit of Derrick Henry in me. <laughs> you think you can run the slants like uh, these guys? Or? I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a possession receiver. <laughs> All right, thank you. Thanks. Appreciate it.